today what we are going to do is we are going to do a manufacturing account using the details in this question right the examiner has provided this list of information it's just a list it's not a trial balance but it's a list of information with adjustments this additional information these are adjustments which should take effect to things that are shown up there so we will go step by step on this so it's always important to go through uh, these adjustments before you even attempt to write anything on the paper or on your answer sheet this is very critical because it helps you to remind you when you get to certain parts in your in your listed items you know what to do where to adjust and so on so always go through adjustments before you start to write anything right we because i'm trying to make this video as short as possible so i shall uh, i've read the adjustments myself so i shall try to shorten them but um this is um a, a March, May June paper 12 paper 22 2012 so you can always uh, look at those adjustments and go through them physically but uh, this is the demonstration that I'm going to do so what we are going to do here is that we are going to make a manufacturing account so when we are making a, a manufacturing account by head you start with opening inventory if it is provided but this inventory is for for raw materials so we are talking of inventory for raw materials here so we go straight to your last column there you put it in this case it was given as 14,300 right so to this inventory, we are going to increase it by making purchases. So we are going to make purchases of inventory of raw materials, right? So we are going to add, right? We add 168. There is no adjustment to this figure. So we just take it as it is. 168,900. So again, there are things that increase our purchases like carriages so we add them carriage on raw materials how much are our carriages on raw materials 2600 now if you add these things right um, do it this way so that we don't confuse things here okay so that we put our total here it's 185 according to your calculator you can always check with your cal own calculator right so far we don't describe that figure because we are going down and we are going to say less our closing inventory of raw material here So how much is the closing inventory of raw materials? That's the one given down there. That's where you find it, 16400. Right? So then at this point, you also find another total. And that total that you find down here is what is called raw materials consumed or just direct materials. So in this case, it's one. 69400 by calculate so this is described as raw materials consumed sometimes the examiner gives you um, the examiner may give you some some marks for this one right so it's also important to know something about raw materials consumed in our illustration or in our notes sometimes this is what we describe as direct materials 
So here we're trying to determine the direct materials that we use in this production, right? So immediately you look at other direct costs. So in this case we are adding uh, the only direct cost that we are given is direct labor. For direct wages, let, let me use this. So you can see this named uh, as factory operatives or factory wages, direct factory wages. Like in this case, it's a written direct factory wages. So sometimes you can see it written as factory. I will just write in short factory operatives. Uh, okay, All right. But you should just pick that they are sometimes called factory operatives. Okay. So what we have there is factory operatives or direct factory wages is 193.700. So if you add um, here, we get, we want to put our total there. How much is the total? 100. Right. What is this now? The value that we get here is what is called prime cost. An examiner is interested in prime cost a lot. So when we talk of prime cost, we are simply talking about the addition of all direct costs. Right. So that's your prime cost. The examiners give a mark for that one. That's your prime cost, right? Then you now add what are known as factory overheads. Sometimes known as uh, indirect factory expenses, right? Uh, these ones are expenses that relate to manufacturing but they are not directly related to any particular item that you produce. So that's why they are called indirect or factory overheads. Now we start with indirect wages, but under indirect wages, we have an adjustment which was given down there, which says the owner uh, took some wages or used some, some, some wages for private use. So these are drawings. It means the owner may be used to some people for who work for this business for a private job. So those wages are not part of this manufacturing account. We consider them as drawings. So we subtract them here so that they don't interfere with a calculation of the true cost of production here, right? So in this case, that gives us 33,600, right? Okay. Right, what else do we have? We also have um, general expenses. But here we are looking at general expenses that relate to factory only not to office, only those that relate to factory or to manufacturing. But now there's an adjustment. If you go back to our question here, this general um, expenses they are given is 24,450. But we are told that the general expenses here, they include rates and insurance of 6,200, which should be apportioned. To apportion is to share. So if 6,200 is to be shared between factory and office, which means, right, first of all, we have to separate it from this 24, from this 24, we have to, 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 to put it aside so that we are able to share it. So if we remove it from this 24, we'll remain with 18,250. So we are saying 18,250, First, this is entirely for 
for the factory but we are saying we are going to add right 6200 times times 3 over what right yeah. mm. So this is 3 over 4, right, so times 6, 2, 0, 0. All right, what do we get here? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get there? Right. The total value that you get without wasting time is twenty two nine hundred. Twenty two nine hundred. That's what you get after simplifying. Yeah, I hope you uh, you understood this adjustment. You can always ask me if you are missing something here. You go back to the statement, you reread it, then you go on. So we have depreciation of of factory machines, right? So this one is uh, according to our adjustment here. The depreciation for factory machines is given down here. It's 20% per annum using reducing balance. We know how reducing balance operate, right? So we say cost minus accumulated depreciation, uh, 98.00 minus uh, 35.2, that's the accumulated depreciation, 35.2.80, sorry. So this is times comma two right mm -hmm. right so the answer that you get here gives you it gives you twelve five four four right move on to the next one right there's another depreciation which is indicated there but it's not part of this uh, account this depreciation for office equipment it's for office it goes to the income statement but we want this one for loose tools because the loose tools are part of production these are consumables small tools that are used in production which we said Sometimes it's difficult to determine, to carry them at network value. So what do you do? You use the revaluation method. So what do we do? We look at the original value, which was given as 950. We add the loose tools that we bought during the year of 45. We subtracted the closing balance of loose tools, which is 890. So at the end, we get the difference is the depreciation for loss tools, which is 105. Right. According to my calculations in my analysis, this is these are the factory overheads that we have. So straight away, we we put a total there for these things. So how much is that? 69. Remember, we are adding. We are just increasing on cost rate. 149. We are just increasing here. So, okay. What do we have next? We also add that column. 
I'll, I'll show you what we are adding our prime cost our prime cost plus our indirect uh, factor over here here so if you add them together you just get an answer here which is not described 432 249 okay fine so we don't want this highlighter at the moment let it go away we'll highlight what we want right immediately what are we doing you add your opening work in progress so your opening work in progress is the one given up there which is given as 6520 right so from this value you immediately subtract your closing what work in progress so our closing work in progress is the inventory for work in progress given down there. You always found it down there. It is six nine seven zero. Right. So you simplify using your calculator here. What do we get? We get 431.799. All right. What is this? This is what, what is called cost of production. So this is the figure that we were trying to determine, the cost of production. So the cost of production is the one that then goes to the income statement. The cost of production is the one that goes to the income statement. So we have managed to determine our cost of production here. This is the cost of production. Yes. Okay. Fine. So once we have done this, we have managed to do our manufacturing account. Remember, opening inventory, purchases of raw materials, carriages, we only deal with things that are related to manufacturing. Here. And here we are trying to build up the total cost of producing the goods for the whole year. So once you have done that, you get your marks neatly. Presentation of work, logical. You don't have to cancel anything here. You just go step by step line workings and so on you get marks for that i hope this uh, demonstration helped you